You're good. You're golden. You gotta lively up yourself. Kawali pa Jamaican cigarette. You the mean? <laughs>
Yeah, all right. So we're gonna put our chicken foot in the water. We put some water in the pot. We're gonna put our scotch bonnet in and some pimento seed, yeah? We're gonna show you the pimento tree in a minute. Yeah, we're gonna go and show it. it ain't got no pimento on it, but we're gonna show you the tree. So yeah, right now we're just... Yeah, yard and vibe. Chicken foot soup. Yo, it's mad hot, mad hot. Listen, so this is a pimento tree, right? So you see the stick stem, right? This is like, this is what they use for jerk. It's one of the main ingredients for jerk, jerk seasoning. You see like, they, when, they, when they do the jerk chicken, they will get like the, the, the big bits of wood like that and they will lay it down, put the chicken on top of it and cook it, you know what I'm saying? And you can even use the pimento leaves. I've, I've used like certain time I've brought back the twigs from Jamaica, obviously we can't take big logs back to England. But I've took bare sticks back, you know, and when I'm cooking the jerk chicken, dash on the, the, the twigs on the bad, bad meji, trust me, you can smell it. And even the leaves, dash the leaves on the side. I smell allspice. If it, all spice, pimento seed is all spice, so. So just like yeah. it. Yeah. Pimento seed, why I? Nicely. Smelling good. Yeah, people, so I've just come to check on them. Smelling wicked. Smells like chicken soup, man. Smells like chicken soup already. Remember me telling you that, already. Yeah. Pimento berry and scotch bonnet there in there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the pumpkin and I'm going to leave the pumpkin in there for about 10, 10 minutes just to get some uh, some flavour with the pumpkin first. And then once we've once the pumpkin's been in there for 10 minutes, then we're going to add all the rest of the seasoning uh, and the rest of the um, yam, potato and all these things. You know what I'm saying? We're soon far with tea towel. You're done now. Chicken foot soup. See chicken them there. Yeah, so just a pumpkin right now, yeah? Just a pumpkin we're putting in right now. And then we're gonna put, after the 10 minutes, when we add the rest of our seasoning, that's when we add the Irish potato and the yam. Isn't it? Probably gonna add a little more water as well. All right, so this is what we're looking for, right? What we're looking for is that, you see like, all, all the pumpkin start mash up little piece. Yeah, that's good, that's what we want. Now, you see how it going, orange little piece. Wicked, that's what we want. Now, we're ready to put in the rest of our yam, Irish potato, season. <laughs> Chickens never fighting and all type of things. So we're gonna season it now, put everything in. Yeah, white onion. Straight in, yeah? We're gonna dash the chicken seasoning in. All purpose. Just left like a tiny little bit in each packet. We don't need too much. Um, can I wash off these, way? We're gonna put the scallion in. Yeah, we're just gonna put them in whole. Just break them. Chop off these little bits at the end. Time. You know what, we're gonna do it natural. Chop off these little wing bits. I've got a piece of onion in there. All right, looking good, looking good. Yam, yellow yam. I swear, nice and fresh. You see, when you get the yam in England, it does not cook that. When the cut is so fresh, man, wicked. Trust me, Irish potato, yellow yam, good stuff. You get chunk. Let me. You know what I'm gonna do? I have to do. I'm gonna add some more water. How? 
literally. All we're gonna do now, see, is leave it. Yeah? You don't want everything to, oh, like, you be careful you don't overcook it so the, um, the Irish start mash up, cut Irish mash up, you know. Yeah, so you have to be careful with that. So, yeah, man, until, you're, until you want your food done. You know what I'm saying? You can, you, like I say, this dish, this could be done all done in 15 minutes. You don't even want to leave it that long a car. I, I cut up the uh, Irish small, so they're gonna mash up quickly. So 15 minutes, man. Done. Chicken foot soup in the garden with. The, oh, God! Chicken foot soup. He knew. He wants some. You, you, they eating chicken over there, bruv. They want some chicken soup. That's what they're waiting for. But no, we're gonna share it around with everyone. And the chickens, see me. Ah, it's a bubble, it's a bubble, it's a bubble. Ah, the pot a bubble, it's a bubble, it's a bubble. Ah, that's the pot, it's a bubble, it's a bubble. Oh, me say the pot, it's a bubble, it's a bubble. Bubble, it's a bubble, it's a bubble, it's a bubble. You see me? Pot a bubble. Yeah, we're just gonna add the noodles now because ready. The soup mix. Three minutes, couple minutes, man. Literally three minutes. So, I'm just gonna. See it, yeah? Where have I put the spoon? Oh yeah. We're clean. We stay clean even when we're in the back garden. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just stirring that. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little tiny, tiny, tiny piece of water. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, people. Good. That good. Let's loosen it up, is me? So, cut, so we we have some juice. So when we we take out the the the, the things, then it's it not too stodgy. Is it me, car? Everybody want a piece of juice in there. You know, the cup or the, any whatever you're using. Where the chicken foot? Let me find one chicken foot here. See it, yeah? Oi, oi. Let me have a smell. Oh. It's wicked, man. The pumpkin there. So a couple minutes, man, and that's done. Ah, the pot of bubble, the pot of bubble, the pot Yeah, see it, yeah? Chicken foot soup. Is it me? Oh, let me try this. Well seasoned, well excited. It's burning my hand a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to firm it for the camera, but now it's burning me. So I'll put it down. The flavor's mad. It's got a nice piece of spice in there. The taste of pimento seed and the pumpkin, the yam, everything. The chicken foot just gives it a nice, good chicken flavoring. You know what I'm saying? It's like an extra seasoning. I mean, it's definitely worth trying. Don't be put off by the feet. You know what I'm saying? It's nice. It's gummy. It's, oh, do it again, what do you mean, bro? Yeah. No, if I could, well, really? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> All right. There's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> Ah. This is how you eat chicken foot. Show them, Wayne. God, yeah. man, man. Cool. 
Yeah, it's hot, that one's hot, but he's got to go. I'm waiting. Ready. I'm waiting wow. Go on. Yeah? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, yeah, it's all it's it's alright. It's alright. It's the texture. It's a foot. I need to eat pizza. Yeah. We're gonna do this. Let me just eat pizza. Come on in though. It's just the texture. That's all it is, it don't, it, it tastes nice. Ugh, I can't, I can't, I can't. That was cooking vibe. I've got foot around my mouth. It's, it's a mad thing. But the, the, honestly, the soup is wicked. Yeah, I, do up me, I do up. Like honestly, like it's just a texture. If you don't want to eat the foot, you don't have to. Do you know what I'm saying? More time when I cook this in England, I wouldn't really eat the feet. Um, just eat all the, the vegetables and things. It's good, you know? But um, it's definitely worth trying because it does give it a different flavour, a nice, wicked, wicked flavour. I'd honestly say, like, chicken foot soup is probably the best tasting flavouring chicken soup you can do. So, definitely worth a try. Cook and vibe. Why I? The tone, bare toenails and, and all sorts of things. Gone.